Hello, this is a short presentation on configuring the generic TMF814 probe. We will take a look at the files used to configure the generic TMF814 probe, use the dump name service tool to find the available services, then review common configuration issues, as well as a successful connection to the Corba service, and check what object server properties need to be set for the probe to work normally. You can use the minus version output to check the version of the probe, the non-native probe and the version of Java being used. In this case the probe's n file was updated to log the jar files being used. The probe n files are kept in the $omnihome slash omnibus slash probe slash java directory and the java probe supporting files and directories. The generic tmf814 m file sets the common java environment as well as the Corba configuration directory. It also sets the probe's class path and can be used to enable advanced debugging. In this example, additional login has been added to list all the ClassPaths jar files. All of the IBM Corba files are stored in the Omnibus Probes Corba directory, including the version specific TMF814 jar files and the dump name service tool. The EMS administrator should provide the name service host and port, as well as the service which the probe is to connect to. You can check these details using the dump name service tool. Enter the host and port as a first and second option, then check the given service name is listed in the resulting output. If you are given the IOR files as well, you can use an IOR parser tool to check the details. In this case, the IOR string was for the name service. You can also use the IOR parser to get the name service host port and then use the dump name service tool to get the service's name. Using the host name and object name is better than using the IOR files as the IOR files may not contain persistent data. The pro property file requires a number of properties to be set to work. The release TMF814 property sets the expected version of the target EMS. When this is set incorrectly, the probe loads the wrong IDL jar file and is unable to read the data presented by the EMS. In this case, we are connecting to a version 3 system. As mentioned earlier, you can use the IOR files to set the names, service, host, port and target object. However, it is best practice to use the naming service host and naming service port properties along with the naming context path property for the target object. In this file we have commented out the IOR file method as the two methods are mutually exclusive. We have also commented out the correct naming context path and added one that is incorrect. The correct naming context path is obtained from the dump name service tool. It is important to check the encodings being used by the MS and explicitly set these in the probe property file. It is also best practice to set the orb localhost and port properties. These are used by the probe to communicate with the EMS. The value for the orb local host should be an IP address or host name known to the EMS. The orb local port should be a port that is free on the probe server. If there are firewalls between the probe and EMS, the orb local port needs to be opened as well as the name and service port. In the example file, a number of commonly used properties are set as well. These include resynchronization, retry and inactivity properties. Here we can see what happens when the probe attempts to connect to the wrong object which was specified in the naming context path. The probe's logs fail to get the system reference from the naming service. The probe continues on, logging all of the Java and IDL related error messages and in this example attempts to retry to connect. This is based on the three attempts set in the properties file and with each attempt being 30 seconds apart. After this, the probe will exit. If the probe is run under process control, the probe will continue indefinitely unless process control limited the number of retries in its settings. If the correct naming context path is used, but the wrong release, TMF814 property, a different behavior is observed. As you can see, the log file does not show any difference in the class path files being used. 
However, the probe does log which version is being used. In this case, we see the message loading TMF814 jar release 2.1, which is the incorrect version for the target object, EMS Session Factory, which is version 3.0. The results of this version mismatch is not seen until the events from the EMS are read by the probe, in this case when the probe resynchronizes and the probe logs the IDL pass messages related to each event. The probe does not disconnect from the EMS and will continue to ping the EMS as usual. It is therefore important to check the log files following an upgrade of the EMS or when no events are seen in the event list for version related issues. Now we have seen what happens when there is a misconfiguration, we can update the probe's property file to the correct settings with release TMF814 set to version 3 and naming context path set to EMS Session Factory. As you can see the probe logs loading TMF814 jar release version 3.0 and goes on to connect to the EMS Session Factory completing the resynchronization of events without logging any issues. If the probe is left to run and a number of alarms are sent the probe will only log by default the periodic heartbeat messages which are seen every 60 seconds. To improve the probe's behaviour with the object server connection set the network timeout to a suitable value. This will allow the probe to notice if the object server becomes unresponsive. You can also enable store and forwarding if required. To improve performance enable buffering and set the flush buffer interval to ensure events are sent to the object server within a maximum amount of time. In this case 11 seconds. The events will be sent before the flush buffer interval if the buffer size is exceeded within 11 seconds. In order to configure the probe, make sure that the EMS administrator provides at least a name and service host port. Use the dump name service tool to confirm or obtain the target object that is used in the naming context path property. Review the probe properties alongside the online manual. Check the default settings and update them to meet the system's requirements. Check that the property settings work from the command line before placing the probe under process control.